Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check if an email address exists without ever needing to send the email address any message. We can do this with the uh, combination of the telnet command and the dig command. Okay, so uh, dig is going to allow us to look up the server name, the server domain name of the email server and the telnet command. We can basically log into that server and interact with it and do some queries there to see if the email address exists or not. So um, let me show you how to do this. Uh, and just before we do that, the reason that uh, this came on, like to the top of my mind is because I've been getting a lot of spam emails for my website at the Diamond app. And the spam emails, none of the emails seem to exist. Like this one, uh, the error was, sorry, your message to this guy cannot be delivered. This inbox is disabled. Um, this one, uh, user unknown to Campbell R at Hughes.net. Uh, this one uh, requested mail action aborted mailbox not found so I got a lot of weird messages like that and I just wanted to see if there was a, a way that I could with a command check to see if these email addresses existed or not and it turns out that that is definitely the case so uh, let's minimize this and open up a, uh, a terminal window and like I said we're going to use the dig command and the telnet command to figure this out so because most of these um, well first of all let's figure out the the uh, I guess the for my personal email address, let's figure out, uh, which is Gmail, let's figure out what the domain name for the email server is. And we can do that with diggmail.com and look up the MX records for that. So uh, it looks like the main, um, the main domain name is gmail-smtp-in.l.google.com. So let's copy that onto our clipboard. And then we can use the telnet command to telnet into that server and interact with it that way. So let's do telnet that uh, domain name and then port 25, which is the, the, the port for email. Um, and it looks like telnet is not found. Tell, oh, because <laughs> I spelled it wrong. T-E-L-N-E-T. -E -E okay. So we are, uh, this is good. This means that we are um, connected to the server. And the first thing that you wanna do is issue an H-E-L-O uh, gmail.com command. And you'll get the response from the server um, 250, mx.google.com at your service. Okay, so the basic syntax here is we're gonna go through a series of um, mail from receipt to commands, okay? And it's basically just gonna, I don't know, in my eyes, like simulate um, without ever sending anything, uh, the interaction between the two servers. So let's do uh, mail from Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. And then we'll do, we got an okay, so that's, it likes that. And then we do a receipt to uh, Tony Nicholas, Arizona at gmail.com. So this is, in this case, we want to check to see if this email address exists. And we hit enter and we get a 250 back. So that is okay. Now let's check another email address. Let's repeat the process. So we do mail from Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. And let's do receipt to uh, and I'm going to copy one of the email addresses that I, I know was sent to my inbox and it was fake. So we'll do receipt to strawny1 at gmail.com. We'll hit enter. And the response this time is the email account that you tried to reach does not exist. Uh, please try double checking the recip recipient's email address for typos or unnecessary spaces. Learn more here. Okay, so no such user was the uh, the result of that interaction between uh, my email address and that user's email address. And you, you can keep doing this. So uh, I have probably like 50 different email addresses that were, uh, for whatever reason, spam bots or something, signed up for the, the sign up page on my Diamond website. Um, so let's check another one. Let's do, um, and I'll just to save some time, I'll, I'll copy it. So mail from Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. Then we'll do receipt to, uh, and this one is 
a non-Gmail account. So Gmail can interact with uh, non-Gmail accounts as well. So receipt to michael.merchant at comcast.net. And based on the interaction, the email account that you tried to reach does not exist. Please try double to blah, blah, blah. No such user. Okay, same type of thing. Um, let's try one more. And this one, um, I, I tested this recently, so I hope it'll still work. So mail from Tony at tonyteaches.tech. That looks good. So notice how I'm not using Gmail anymore. And then receipt to shari at sh shari.sherman at gmail.com. This one throws a different error message. The user trying to contact is receiving mail at a rate that prevents additional messages from being delivered. Please resend your message at a later time. So this, uh, this is based on the receiving rate. This user is not... Um, I guess there's just like a flood of email coming into this user's box. It it I, it does exist. It's just being overwhelmed at a rate that Gmail can't accept any more messages uh, coming into it. So um, uh, you can keep going through this same process, uh, mail from, receipt to, mail from. And if you try to do, uh, this is what I've noticed, if you try to do two receipt twos in a row, um, it'll say multiple destination domains per transaction is unsupported. Please try again. So that's why you always have to do the mail from and then the receipt too. So hopefully this uh, will give you a better idea about how to check if an email ex address exists before uh, like ever sending a message to that email address. Uh, a quick, um, pretty much low impact way to do that. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.